Well, Diddy is now facing another very serious lawsuit. Sean Diddy Combs has recently spoken out for the first time to address a growing number of sexual assault claims he is facing. The latest accusation comes from his fourth accuser in less than three weeks, who filed a lawsuit in New York. You know, this all started with the Cassie lawsuit, uh, and then there were two more accusers. Um, this woman is fil has filed a uh, as an anonymous accuser, as a Jane Doe, um, and filed it in federal court today. And it goes back to, her allegation goes back to 2003. The allegations involve not only Combs, 54, but also Harv Pierre, the former president of Combs Bad Boy Entertainment Company, who is accused of sex trafficking and gang rape. Yeah, the, the allegations are absolutely horrific. She says she was 17, she was only in 11th grade at the time, said she was taken from Michigan, as you said, to the studio in New York. And after that session was over, she says they plied her with drugs and alcohol. She became so inebriated, she couldn't consent to anything that was happening. She went to a bathroom where she says she was by not only Diddy, but as you said, the president of Bad Boy Records at the time, Harve Pierre, and a third person. So really, she describes a gang rape scenario where she said she ended up on the bathroom floor in the fetal position and has been so traumatized by this, but never said anything, she said, until she saw Cassie and other women come forward, and she says that gave her the confidence to finally share these allegations. The anonymous woman behind the lawsuit claims she was a 17-year-old high school junior when Pierre flew her from Michigan to New York City. There, she alleges that she was given drugs and alcohol and subsequently raped by Combs, Pierre, and an unnamed third person. And she says she was 17 years old at, at the time, but tells a very detailed, um, really harrowing story of meeting uh, first the president of Bad Boy Records uh, in Detroit when she was an 11th grader, um, but ends up on a private jet with him, goes back to New York, and then meets Diddy. What's different about this lawsuit is that she's included uh, photos. Now, she's blurred her face, she's filing anonymously, but photos of her, she says, in the studio with Diddy back in 2003, um, and she says, yes, she walked in and there was a recording session going on, but when it ended, that's when the sexual assault began. In a statement obtained by People, Combs expressed frustration, saying, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. He vehemently denied the accusations, stating, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. And so Diddy um, has actually come up with a uh, with a statement on this. Yeah, I mean, Beauty almost the claim. minutes after it was filed, uh, he told us, enough is enough. My name is Ray Williamson from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Uh, being a fan of hip hop, there's always been kind of rumors about Diddy. Uh, since the Cassie thing happened, I knew there was going to be a lot of stuff coming out. This is bad information. I mean, because he has a 17-year-old girl sitting on his lap in the photo. I mean, that's pretty damning. He yeah, no, has an uphill battle if he's really gonna fight all these allegations in court. Got his hands full. The legal challenges began on November 16th, when Combs was first sued by his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, for alleged rape, sex trafficking, and domestic violence. Despite quickly settling that case, two more lawsuits followed. Uh, she claims that at one point she was uh, starting to date Kid Cudi, and uh, did he threaten to blow up his car? And his car actually blew up in the parking lot, like in his driveway at one point. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like Kid Cudi serious. actually confirmed that his car did blow up in the park in, in his driveway. Okay. Not to say did he had anything to do with it, but it's sort of a. I've had a lot of cars over you know the last thirty five years. I've never had one blow up yet. Have you? No. no.
One accuser, Joy Dickerson Neal, claimed Combs drugged and raped her in 1991 while she was a student at Syracuse University. Another, identified as Jane Doe, alleged that Combs and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall raped her and a friend in New York City over 30 years ago. Sean Diddy Combs has been hit with another lawsuit just as he settles his first. This time, Joy Dickerson Neal claims she was a victim of, of sexual assault by the musician in 1991. A spokesperson for Combs says the accusations are not credible and purely a money grab. Last week, Combs settled a legal battle with former girlfriend Cassie Ventura. Ventura says she was subjected to years of repeated physical and other abuse by Combs. Combs, through his representatives, has consistently maintained his innocence. The accusations made by Dickerson Neal were labeled as made up and not credible, with a statement asserting, this last minute lawsuit is an example of how a well-intentioned law can be turned on its head. Miss Dickerson's 32-year-old story is made up and not credible. Similarly, Combs denied the claims in the suit involving Hall, calling them fabricated and nothing but a money grab. And of course, his lawyers said that this is preposterous, all this is false, it's Boom, a money gosh. grab. Mm -hmm. yeah. But 24 hours later, he settled. Yeah. I have never seen a settlement this fast in my life. Mm. He said, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> What's your take on this? Um, first of all, I, don't, I wouldn't know Cassie if she was sitting on this lap. Okay, I'll show you a picture of Cassie. I wouldn't know Kid Cuddy if he was sitting right over here. Um, but th this is Cassie right here. Okay, cute young yeah. lady. Yeah, right. she was quite a bit younger than him. Uh -huh. I think she was maybe, I don't know, 21 when they started dating. He was like in his right. 40s or something. Yeah, man, to each his own. I mean, that's, I wish people could just be honest about everything. And, you know, it would be so so much better because you just be be yourself. Mm. And people are worried about the judgments of others, but live your life. If that's what he's into, that's what he's into. But the thing I I draw the line at is abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody. You know, yeah, she's a grown woman. What grown people do is what grown people do. Despite these denials, the legal battles have taken a toll on Combs. On November 28th, he stepped down from his position as chairman of Revolt the music-focused television network he co-founded. Revolt currently is celebrating his 10-year anniversary, doing well, but they're saying that Diddy was never involved in the company's day-to-day. Shawnee, do you have the dent dun dun Yeah, Because it would sound like this. Happy anniversary! Um, and they're saying the goal in making the decision when that's the accusations he's facing to distract Revolt's mission. I mean... Yeah, knew, I mean, it's, it is a we fact knew. that he's not been a, he's not involved day to day. That's that is a factory fact. Uh, Was but, he not involved at all with the fact that Young Miami ended up getting her show on TV? No, he might have pushed that through. Got you it. know what I mean? Or but he, that doesn't mean he's managing yeah. people and managing the daily. business. Right, on you're the saying he day. wasn't like taking people's time cards and filling out a schedule. <laughs> yeah, he's not. You know, like when you walk into Revolt, it's not like where's Diddy's office? I can't even see him. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I want to know. What, what, we need to update the snack machines. Where's yeah, Paul? when they have when they have their staff meeting. I don't think Diddy's like at the front, like, hey, you know, you guys are doing really great. Yeah, right, sure. In a statement, Revolt emphasized its commitment to a collective journey not driven by any individual. As the legal drama unfolds, Combs remains resolute in fighting for his name and family. Although now, it seems like Diddy may well be getting what's been coming to him for a long time.